Welcome to our week two of Kingdom Groups. Last week in week one, we got a chance to talk about the kingdom of God and, and what Jesus meant when he kept talking about the kingdom of God, that it is the story of a king who comes to rescue his people. This week, we want to talk about how the, the story of the Bible is one long story, overarching story of this king coming to rescue his people. I think for a long time in my life, I, I really felt like the, the contents of the Bible were kind of random. You know, we would take a few stories from the Old Testament that we really liked, or we'd take a few miracles from the New Testament that we really liked, and, and, and God was telling us something or teaching us something in each of those things, which is true. God is telling and teaching in those truths. But the reality is, it's all one big story. The Bible holds together as one story from the time Adam and Eve were put out of the garden to the time that Jesus comes back and the world is restored and new heaven and a new earth are recreated. All of that is one story and it's the story of a king who comes to set his people free. So, so when Jesus comes at Christmas time, he's stepping into a story that's already being told of a God throughout history claiming his people and rescuing his people and coming to his people. And Jesus is just sort of that uh, pinnacle, the chapter that really tells us how God comes to save his people. The Bible is one long story about a king who comes to save his people. But this week we also want to touch on the fact that that our story, the story of our lives, fits in to the big story going on around us. You know, again, I think for most of my life I have thought that God was telling his story in my life when I was in church, or I was in a Bible study, or I was doing my daily devotions. And believe me, God is using those things to tell his story in our lives. But the story of God is far bigger than that. That's only part of the story that God is telling through us and in us. You know, every time someone comes up to me and tells me that their father passed away, or brags about, about their grandkids, or tells me how tired they are, or shares with me a challenge or a joy of things that are going on in their life at work, Every time that happens, that's an example of the kingdom of God, of the story of God's people and the people around us fitting into the kingdom of God. When we have a chance to interact with people in our lives, when God puts people into my life, I know it's become kind of a cliche, but at McDonald's, when, 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 when I interact with people, when I get a chance to see who they are and hear their stories, and they get a chance to hear my story and see who I really am, God is at work. And the point of all of our stories is that God wants to fit us into the big story. You see, the story of my life, the story of your life, fits the big story of the Bible, of a king coming to rescue his people. Because first and foremost, we are people who have been rescued by that king. But secondly, my story fits in and your story fits in because it's through the interaction of people that the kingdom of God expands and grows and God reaches into the lives of more and more people. The Bible is one big story of a king who is deeply in love with you and deeply in love with the people in your life. And the kingdom story includes the stories of our lives. So as you interact with people throughout your life, whether they're in your family, your neighborhood, where you work, what your children do uh, for sports or music or drama, as you interact with those people, as you hear their stories, I want you to begin to think about how God's story of a rescuing king can play out in the stories of the people around you. 